Hi, K M N O four here, and today I'm going to be bringing you my circuit diagram that I used in my previous videos with a microwave magnetron. Not a very good artist, but I drew it up the best that I could. I lost the link to the schematics, so I drew it up the best that I could. A little shaky there, but there it is, right there. I should have gotten it out last year when I done my first videos, but I didn't really have the time to do that. It's been a very busy year. Uh, this is the schematics for it, circuit diagram for this circuit right here that I used in my previous videos. This driver I used for everything from flyback transformers, microwaves, ignition coils, any kind of transformer really. This is my universal driver for them. Each of the dots on there, that's the dot, so that's a connection, connection. Little wires looks like they're jumping across right there. Those are just jumpers, no connection to those, just the dots are the connections. This one goes out to the transformer. The other side of the transformer primary goes out to the positive, positive of the battery. So basically a 12 volt battery goes in, where am I at, there it is. 12 volt battery goes in right here, positive, negative. The 36 volt battery or 24 volts goes in through the primary winding. And it comes out right here, and it's what drives the circuit. Drive it. I'm a little short on cash right now. I can't really afford to buy replacement parts and such. So this project has been put on hold until I get a, until I get a little bit of money coming in where I can buy some new pro new parts for it and can continue the project. I would love to keep playing with the project, see it to the end, and then experiment with it. But for the time being, it's on the back burner for now. In the meantime, though, I've been going back to the batteries I built a few years ago, which is magnesium copper batteries ran on water. Basically just a little bar of magnesium with some copper wire wrapped around it. This one's got a copper sheet, basically a one inch diameter pipe that's been cut down the lengthwise and then flattened out with a hammer and it fits halfway on there. It's just straight up water in them. This one though has about 2 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide. Where's my light? There it is. I don't know if it's going to show with my camera light on. But it's putting out some light. My lighting in my room sucks. <laughs> but uh, the voltage I'm getting off of it. getting about 2.49 goes between 2.48 to 2.50 volts the milliamps I think I get about a uh, 1.5 to 2 milliamps out of it it's been running for about eight days now I just had to put a little bit more water in it today because that cell there got a little dry but eight days before I added water into it which is pretty good not bad I'd say that's what I got right there. I'm hoping to run it on a jewel thief and light up a whole array of LEDs. It ain't gonna show because my lights on camera is on. But yep, yeah, that's what I got for right now. Also, I'll try to bump those up a little bit bigger. Get a little bit more voltage and all out of it. Possibly use a jewel thief to run that. That's my Bedini motor. Hopefully I can use a jewel thief or something, maybe a jewel thief combined with an amplifier to get those two to run that. Might not be full power or anything, but it's worth it. I mean, it's worth a try. You don't know if the car's going to crank if you don't try it, right? Got to go out there and crank it first, see if it's going to crank. This one here is just a full bridge wave rectifier that I used for my variac over there. Oh, 5 amp, 500 voltage amp. Very at my computer power supply that I'm using to power the Bedini motor at the moment to run various experiments and such on. Uh, hopefully I'll do that in another video though. But right now, I'm trying to get this to run stable, make it a little bit bigger, make it a little bit more powerful. Mm, I don't know if I have one somewhere. And it's just basically a fire starter, one of the magnesium rod fire starters. 
pretty much. That one, no, I cut in half. So I got half of it in there and the other half right there. Like I said, getting about 2.50 volts out of it. At approximately 2.1 milliamps. Not really a whole lot of power, but it is lighting up a LED. A small 1.5 to 2 volt LED. Like I said, it's been running for 8 days. Didn't add no water until today. Since I added water into it, it got a lot brighter, brightened on up. When you short it out on the short it out on the amperage rating right here of 200 milliamps it takes about four to five seconds for the batteries to fully recover and go back to the full brightness that they can deliver uh, I guess that's all I get right now that's the circuit diagram that I've been using my previous videos I shouldn't have gotten it out a long time ago but it's been a very busy year trying to get some money in trying to keep the thing going but there it is. I apologize in advance for it. And that's what I got for right now. Hopefully I'll come back this evening with another video. Maybe. If not, I'll try to do a video once a week. Start it off once a week, then two a week, then three a week. You gotta learn to crawl before you walk, and you gotta walk before you run. And you gotta run before you fly. So, I'm crawling right now, trying to, trying to get my crawling down. And, I guess that does it for now. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Peace out.